everyone. Welcome to the Mama Elephant YouTube channel. This is Rena. Today we're sharing the last of the products for the November 15th release. Remember the release drops on 12 a.m. Eastern Time, November 15th. First up, we're going to be taking a look at Up With Love. This is illustrated by Ada Zamora, and I just adore these sweet critters using their heart balloons. I loved it. I loved coloring these. They're so super cute. Um, my favorite image is the little duckling. I think he just looks so innocent and <laughs> so cute. It's like my favorite one. Here's a look at the coordinating dies for Up With Love. Next we have a couple of die cuts. This is Frame Tags Doily Lace, and I'll be showing you all the different pieces in a bit. And then we have another sentiment die. This is called Love Ya Script, and I really liked using this one. Okay, I'm gonna start off by coloring Up With Love. We're going to be first starting out by coloring in the images. I'm using Copic markers today, and I'm currently using the Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink in Obsidian on the Nina 110 pound paper. For the bunny, I'm using E40, E41, E42, and E43. I really like this color combination for bunnies. Um, and I'm also using R20 and R21 for the little pink details. I wanted to use a different color other than red, and I believe I'm using R81 and 85 um, to color in the balloons. The stamp set also comes with just a balloon if you wanted to use that in your design. I'll be coloring one of each of the different images and this one is the little duckling and he is my favorite. I'm not sure why. <laughs> I love him so much. He's so cute. Um, I'm using YR20 and YR21 for the little body and for his little beak and his little webbed feet. I'll be using YR23. Next, we're going to be coloring in the bear, and I've used E31, E33, and E34, and a tiny bit of E35 um, just on the little nooks and crannies just to give a little bit more depth, and I'm using that E35 color on the pads of his um, little paws. And then for his belly, I'll be using um, E50, E51, and E53. And the E53 is the darker color. And I'm just using that at um, just the little nooks and crannies just to um, give it a little bit more dimension. Um, next we have the fox here. And I have colored him in E95, E99, and E97. Um, and then I'm going to make um, his little end of his tail and his little feet um, in warm grays. I believe I used W3 um, and W5 to do just the little details. And for all of the animals, I used R20 and R21 for the inside of the ears and also a little bit of blush. Next, we're going to be taking a look at the new frame tags doily lace dye. And here is the main piece here. It has a nice little doily detail on the corners. And it comes with some extra little pieces here. Um, there is like a tag type piece and also this heart piece it is connected at the top so you can make a little flip element on your cards if you like and then also another smaller doily piece that has the same type flip up feature if you want to add a little bit of dimension to your project and finally a look at the love you script die I'm going to be doing a little bit of ink blending on that um, insert piece when you cut out the doily lace die. And I have used one of the landscape cloud dies from Slimline Basics. And I just created a little temporary stencil here. And I'm just ink blending some clouds. I used um, Distress Oxide ink in Victorian Velvet. I wanted the clouds to match um, as best I could with the balloons. 
you want to make sure that you're moving around the stencil so there's variation in the clouds. I'm taking the doily lace frame and I wanted it to be that Victorian velvet color, but I wanted to maintain that white border around it. So I'm just masking it really quickly with some like post-it note and I'm still using the Victorian Velvet Distress Oxide Ink and I'm just doing a layer of color all around making sure that I maintain the white border. So I'm going to figure out where I want to stamp my sentiment and I'm taking one from the stamp set and I really love this sentiment here. It is sending you all the hearts and I just love it. I'm going to stamp it out um, using the Distress Oxide ink because I just wanted it to be all the same color. I like using Distress Oxide ink sometimes for stamping out sentiments because it wipes off really nicely <laughs> off the stamp. Um, so I'm taking the panel that we just ink blended and I'm just going to use some glue and adhere it to the card base. Um, the glue I use is the Art Glitter Glue. I'm going to take the panel with the clouds and I'm just making sure my sentiment is dry because it does, the Distress Oxide does stay wet for a little bit. Um, so I just wanted to make sure it was dry um, so I wouldn't smear it because I have smeared, <laughs> smeared before. Um, I'm going to pop this panel up using some double-sided foam adhesive. I will then adhere the images straight on using um, wet glue. I did also want to mention the paper that I used when I ink blended was the Bristol Smooth Cardstock. For the second card, I wanted to make an all cloud background. I believe I'm using Mermaid Lagoon for the ink blending. I'm just using the same. Um, little makeshift stencil I made and I just flipped it over um, so I will be I love cards that are that are all clouds in the background so I wanted to do that and I'm just doing it in the same manner that I did with the first one just making sure that I move my stencil around um, so that there's variation in the clouds and it looks a little bit more interesting now that the background is done I'm going to be selecting a sentiment and this is you are appreciated you are loved and I'm going to pair that with the love ya um, creative cut die um, I'm just gonna do it kind of um, I want it to melt into the background so I cut out the love ya in white and then I'm going to be stamping out the sentiment using the same Mermaid Lagoon Distress Oxide ink as I ink blended the background and of course I always <laughs> like to stamp it a thousand times um, just because I just want it to look a certain way um, so I'm just pairing those two together and I really love that look and I tried to nestle the sentiment inside that Lovia script so I'm just going to adhere that down using wet glue after much fussing with the placement, I am going to adhere the images down um, using wet glue again. And then I am calling these cards done. I'm going to mount them on a top folding card base. Okay, that is it for the November 15th release. Remember, it releases on 12 a.m. Eastern Time. Also, tomorrow is the Stampede. That is a blog hop that starts on the Mama Elephant blog. And then you'll hop through all of the designers' blogs to see what they created with the new product. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe and happy crafting. I will see you guys next time. Remember, Mama Elephant takes a break in December, so the next release will be in January. Bye, guys. I'll see you soon.